Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Oh, are you ready? Okay, it's the day after Easter, the beginning of April. Yes, it's a new month. April is a perfect time for new beginnings and springing. Over at, of course, the White House Easter egg hunt, Easter egg roll hunt was on April 1st. Wait a minute, that's, isn't that the day after Easter? Isn't it done before Easter? Mm -hmm. April Fools! Oh, wait a minute. Who was the fool? Because they're actually having it after Easter instead of before Easter when it's traditionally done the day before Easter. Hmm. Who's the joke on? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. So it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah. I mean, they're giving in on gay marriage, on abortion, on immigration, on higher wages, on gun control, and... Um, that's actually what they're doing, folks. You can't even say anything else than that, but that is what they are doing. And they say, well, we have to appeal to those people that were born after 1980. Unfortunately, the people born after 1980 tend to vote Democrat. The people before 1980 vote Republican, so they're telling 70% of the people to get lost. Mm. Brilliant, isn't it? Cyper yeah, Cyprus bank controls to last a month, minister says. Yeah, at least a month, but they're basically... Um, okay, here's the thing this morning. Only Obama can save Europe because Obama basically signed on to the Cyprus plan, whereas they take all of the money out of the banks that have been deposited by the people that, have, that are running the businesses, seize it for the good of the country, and then, oh, actually that basically ruins the country because they're, they're, they're going to use the money, I love it, they're going to use the money in Cyprus to start, a, they're going to start an international campaign to get businesses to come to Cyprus right after they seized all of the money of the businesses that are doing business in Cyprus. Mm -hmm. You you know, okay, in the, you can figure that the people that are doing business on Wall Street might go for that except for a small factor. Is that they're trading in they're trading with one another. They aren't actually opening up businesses anywhere and you think they're gonna go somewhere where they go to the you, you put money in to do business, they take it out of your bank account. Mm -hmm. But they're gonna give you an interest in the bank. If the bank is solvent for like five years, you can get 37% of the money back that they stole from you. And Pope's foot wash, a final straw for traditionalists. Basically, they want the guy gone. I mean, they really Already? are wanting him. They're wanting this guy. They're totally... Um, I heard some Wait, people, who's wanting him gone? He the just people that just put him in because he, is, um, he has decided that we must be humble because of all the problems we have. He's not doing what they... They wanted to put somebody in that could handle the problem. His idea to handle the problem is doing nothing, totally nothing, mm -hmm. except being the uh, Sir, you know, Francis of Assisi all over again, which the church really didn't like. I mean, oh. this guy has basically done every single thing that violates the tenets of the people that are, that are running the church, all of them. Such as the Pope includes women for the first time in the Holy Thursday, right? That's right. And he's, he's going washing the feet of people in the streets. He, the Pope does not go on the streets because it is dangerous. Mm -hmm. He's going out among the people, which means he has a very short life expectancy. You can figure that. And Pope appeals for end to Korea tensions and first Easter message. They are Christians. Either part of the country are not Christians. Mm -hmm. They're Buddhist folks. They do not. They they like. They're going to listen to a Christian message in a Buddhist country. It's not going to happen. And Pope reluctant to be Pope. What does it mean? He doesn't want to be addressed as Pope. You know, he's basically he you know, you know Father. He wants to be addressed as. Oh, and how the Supreme Court will rule on gay marriage? Well, they think what they're going to do is do nothing. You believe that? And she didn't turn the clock off. So <laughs> that really screws everything. Right? She knew that our timer was not turned on. So no, but they said that, that what they're going to do is they're going to they're going to play. Okay, it's really good because it happened before Easter. They're going to play Pontius Pilate and wash their hands of it and turn it back to the end of. Okay, you can't tell 41 states. The 41 states have violated the federal constitution, and this, they're not going to. Okay, what happens is they will. Um, okay, if they rule in favor of gay marriage, the 41 states will throw, you basically figure they'll go to Washington D.C. and physically throw the Congress of the United States that, that are supporting Obama out of office. It's just done for because, uh, and like I said, they're going to probably let, they're, they're going to toss the thing back to the California judiciary and then put it up for ballot again and it will win again because, they did okay, Anti-gay marriage has not lost a single election. 
not one. Mm. And every state that has gay marriage was done by the by the elected officials, not by the people. And what gay marriage winning looks like. It, it basically, they figure it's going to be a disaster because um, people that aren't going to pay, people that haven't been paying taxes are going to pay taxes. Your taxes are now going to be higher because they're going to tax you as a couple instead of singles. They said there is nothing about gay marriage and the benefits that they're going to like. They, they think, well, if we're married, we get all of this stuff. No, you get all of the bills and everything that go with it, which you're not currently paying. As long as you're not officially married, you don't get the shaft. Under mm -hmm. Obama, married people get the shaft. And budget cuts border security, immigration detention. It has nothing. To, I mean, this is what they're trying to say. Uh, they have more than enough money to pay for everything, but Obama, okay, they said Obama is stuck to the message, we have to teach the people in this nation a lesson. And he's going to make it as painful as can be where everybody knows this clown is going on a, he's, he's playing his first round of golf since the sequester. Um, $1.9 million is going to cost for his round of golf. One <laughs> That's point, an expensive round of yeah, golf. Yeah, his wife takes a $5 million ski vacation. They said if the Obamas do nothing but give up a vacation a year, the White House works. If they give up more, all these other agencies work. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, he's got, I think they said he has a, he has a budget for the White House of, in the billions. Mm -hmm. In the billions, for Christ's sake. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, and their personal travel budget goes through their that, too. Their personal travel budget is in the hundreds of millions of dollars. And Pennsylvania budget chief, pension changes needed by June. Yeah, another Democrat-controlled state, and they can't pay the pensions. They said this is the thing. Stockton is in the problems it is because of pensions. I think uh, all the other cities in the state of California are in this problems they're in because of pensions. Detroit is in this problem because of pensions. Uh, every state in the every city in the United States that has a problem, and states are in the problem because of pensions. Doesn't that sound? And guess how many Republican states have those problems? Mm -hmm. Not a one. And Obama to release his budget outline April tenth. It's a little. It's already been done. I mean, the Republicans in the House have already submitted their budget, and now they're going to work out the differences. His budget becomes mute. He violated the law. I mean, is it? I mean, I, I agree that they want to know. They they refuse to give his college transcript to anybody, and assuming that he never actually went to classes and that he got promoted because he was Afro American. And um, but he they, he he knows nothing about the Constitution. This man. I know never he's read supposedly it. a constitutional he lawyer. He has never read it. He said it was basically written by a bunch of white guys that weren't relevant for this time. In other words, I didn't do what I was supposed to do, so I'm just making stuff up. He makes it up. And prosecutors examine. Oh, not that he would do something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Prosecutors examining J.P. Morgan's actions and made off fraud case. Okay, the Democrats are trying, Obama is trying to get money from everybody by threatening to jail them, like his labor secretary that he wants in. Um, basically, they're, they're after his butt, the, the, the legal system is, because he basically, well, if you drop this case against, uh, against, the, uh, against the unions in the Supreme Court, we'll drop cases that we're getting ready to file against you, and that basically doesn't the way the system works. He's basically blackmailing people. Oh, yeah. And Dick got caught. He's, mm -hmm. he's basically he's being investigated for criminal misconduct, and that's the guy he wants, the head of the Labor Department. And Fiat bets on SUVs and sporty cars in India reboot. Um, okay, in other words, they're, they're, they're gambling on Chrysler carrying the company mm -hmm. because nobody wants Fiats. And North Korea puts artillery forces at the top combat posture. I'm going to have to go along with the people that simply keep saying, don't keep taking someone for granted that's insane because everybody remember Hitler they didn't think of anything they said there North Korea has a, a history of every time they get a new ruler this goes back hundreds of years that you have to they, exercise their muscle they have to show their muscle and they'll attack even if they know they're going to lose because otherwise the military turns against them oh. so you have to do something and they basically know Here's how long they said it will take the North Koreans to be in Seoul. 30 minutes. They have a million soldiers standing on a border with 60-some thousand soldiers against them. Well, we're going to have our artillery and our, our missiles aimed at them. 
You can't stop a million people stop. charging. It can't be done. Well, the U.S. is F-22 South Jets joined South Korea drills. And they basically round. pissed off them in the north. Really, it was a mistake. It was an Obama blunder. Because the instant Obama did that, they basically said that we are no longer going to talk to the South Koreans, and we are now oh. in a full state of war. They're Ooh. now just waiting. They said sometime before the end of April, they think the North Koreans are going to take the South Korean Peninsula. Uh-huh. And Tim's gorilla is another. It's struggling to survive. Yeah, it's it's, it's there's, no, there's no food anywhere. I mean, See? they're they're basically starving to death. And Egyptian TV satirist released after questioning. Yeah, it just um, that what happens is if you're if you don't stand if with the government, you're against the government, and they'll basically he'll end up in a ditch somewhere. And Palestinian leader clamps down on critics. That's what Muslims do. The more okay, you know, the instant they Muslims and uh, the Democrats take over, they basically bring freedom of speech to an end. Oh, is that what they do? That's why. Well, the gypsies flock to the bridal fair as parents negotiate. Well, yeah, because they're trying to marry off all their daughters because daughters are useless in those countries. They are. That's right. Oh. They're like Chinese. Hmm. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, and here it is. No matter how much time you think you have, you never have enough time. <laughs>